Hello, my name is Dr. Kishan Talani and I'm the clinical lead for Cured. Today, I'll be going through the instructions for the lateral flow device COVID-19 rapid test. During your consultation, you will benefit from step-by-step -step instructions from our fully trained health advisors. Today, I'll be going through what you can expect from your consultation, so please do wait until your appointment before you open any of your test kit or actually conduct the test. So, firstly, why don't we start off by what you can expect to find in your test kit box. Instructions for how to do the test. A sterile swab that is sealed, which will be used to extract the sample from the back of your throat and your nose. An extraction tube with a dropper on top. A foil pouch containing the test cassette and buffer solution. The next step is to make sure that you're fully prepared for your test. There's a few extra bits that you'll need. You'll need a biro pen to write down the test time and date on your cassette, photo ID so that we can verify who you are and give you your results, and finally a timer so that we can time the test. You'll also need to make sure that you're in a well-lit area with a good Wi-Fi signal and that you won't be disturbed for the duration of the test. The testing process itself takes five minutes, but it takes an additional 20 minutes for the results to be produced. The next bit is how to actually collect the test. Before you do that, make sure that all the bits from your test kit are sealed and they haven't been tampered with. And also make sure you blow your nose into a tissue and then wash your hands with soap and water or use antibacterial gel. Let's start off by firstly removing the test cassette from the foil packaging. Place it on a flat surface with the writing area up. Then we'll get the extraction tube, take off the lid. And while you hold on to it, open up that buffer solution and count eight drops into this extraction tube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Replace the lid back onto the extraction tube and place it on a flat surface. The next bit is to open up your sterile swab. There'll be an arrow on the back to guide you where you can open it from. And you want to make sure that you don't touch the soft cotton wool bit at the end of it. Keep it ready to be used. The next bit is to make sure you click on the picture of yourself on your camera or on your laptop so that it can use your selfie camera as a mirror. Once you've got a good view of yourself, either on your screen or using a mirror, we can start the collection process. Make sure you hold the swab at the plastic end and you don't touch the swab end. The process involves rolling the swab at the back of your throat on each side where your tonsils would be. You want to roll it five times on each side. You can still do this process even if you've had your tonsils removed. I'll demonstrate on how to do this. If you gag during this process, that's completely normal and it's nothing to worry about. The next part of the test is to do the nasal swab. To help you do this effectively, you should lean your head back and aim to put the soft part of the swab up the nose until you feel mild resistance. Then, you turn it five times. You do the same thing on the other side. When you do this test, you'll probably feel like you're tearing up and the sensation to sneeze, but this is completely normal. I'll demonstrate on how to do it. The final step of the sample collection process involves mixing your swab with a buffer solution. So if you pick up the extraction tube, take off the dropper lid, place the soft end of the swab into the extraction tube, 
that contains a buffer solution and mix it for 10 seconds. Once you've done that, press the soft ends of the extraction tube to drain off any sample fluid from the swab. Carefully place the dropper lid back onto the extraction tube, place it on a flat surface and the swab can now be safely disposed of, either in some tissue or back into its wrapper that you got it. The next part involves placing the sample solution onto the testing cassette. Before we do this, take note of the different sections of your testing cassette. This is the results section and the S signifies where you place your sample. Make sure it's on a flat surface, turn the extraction tube upside down and place two drops into the sample well. At this point, you need to set your timer for 20 minutes so that we can interpret the results. Once the 20 minutes are up, we can start to interpret the results. If you have a look at your testing cassette, onto the results section, you'll see there's a C and a T. If you've got a line next to the C, that means the test is valid and the test has worked. If there is no line at C, that means the test is invalid and you may need to repeat the test. If you've got a line next to the C and the T, that means you have tested positive. And at this point, you should start to self-isolate and organize a PCR swab test to confirm the result. The final step in the process is for you to send us your result so that we can verify it and give you an official certificate. To do this, place the cassette onto a flat surface next to your photo ID. Take a photo and email it to us at results at cured.com. In the subject heading, make sure you write down your full name, the date and time of the test and state that it's an LFD clinic. It's really important you do this within 30 minutes, otherwise it may invalidate your result and you may need to repeat the test. You should hear back from our team within 30 minutes. While you wait for your result from us, make sure you continue to self-isolate. But if at any point you start to feel unwell, or you have a new persistent cough, loss of sense of taste or smell, or feel breathless, make sure you seek urgent medical assistance. If you've tested negative, you can continue your day as normal, but please make sure you follow social distancing guidelines. If you were tested positive, then you must get a confirmatory PCR test result. Please make sure that you safely dispose of your test equipment. Wrap it up in some tissue, and dispose of it in a landfill bin. If there are any spillages, make sure to clean up with some disinfectant. Finally, thank you for watching this video, and if you have any further questions, please get in touch with us in advance, or you can ask your specialist health advisor during your consultation.